You don't want to be stuck holding a big wad of cash, all right, when things become unavailable. Because there will be a time where that big wad of cash will get you next to nothing. Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's time for another payday prep. First, I want to thank you all for joining in today. And thank you very much for leaving comments and things like that. I literally read every single comment that you all left on yesterday's video. And there's a lot of great information on there. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, especially read the comments, go ahead and get into the comments section because... In my opinion, the comments section provides a lot more value than the video itself. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So this is not a very big payday prep, but I just wanted to go ahead and put this out there before I started showing you what I got and some things why I got them. Some preppers out there, whether they call themselves preppers or not, they may have 10 times as much as I have. And some preppers may only have one-tenth of what I have why am I telling you this because ladies and gentlemen it doesn't matter where you are in life as long as you steadily add to your preps and continue to have the mindset that if something happens some life-changing event happens down the road that you are responsible for yourself and your families and that the government is not going to be there to take care of you Remember, the government can print as much money as they want. But can they print food? Can they print goods that actually have to be created? All they can do is print money and spread it out in whatever manner they feel like they should be spreading it out. Okay? So it is up to you to continuously add to your preps, to continuously fill in your gaps. Don't stop just because there are naysayers out there because you will realize that in life, this world is full of naysayers. And you, the ones that take action, the ones that are proactive and don't wait for someone to bail you out, you are the ones in the end that will come out ahead. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and show you what I got. I got a variety of things. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I got, and I actually ordered a couple of these things from Amazon. Uh, so let's get started. So yesterday, before I got out of work, I got a message from Little Miss Alaska Prepper saying, Dad, we need milk. <laughs> now, many of you that have been following me for a while know that I'm not, you know, very particular to milk. I don't really drink milk. Very rarely will I have a bowl of cereal. And uh, I do put a little bit of milk in my coffee when I drink my coffee, but I'm not a milk drinker. However... The rest of my family, they do drink milk. So I went to the commissary when I got out of work to pick up a gallon of milk. And then I noticed that they had these in their clearance aisle. And these are a fancy feast. And they are for Little Miss Pebbles, all right? My cat, <laughs> for those of you that don't know who Pebbles is. And I think it was a great deal. I picked these up for 30 cents a piece. They had a couple of cases there, and I grabbed one case, and it comes 24 to a case, I believe. So I grabbed the case of these, and I think it's just a great deal. And the expiration date on it is still well a year away from today's date. So I'm sure that these will come in handy, but I will save these and start using these probably towards the end of their expiration date because we're not in the middle of a crisis right now. And I wanted to get these cans because they do last a lot longer than the dried foods. While I was at the commissary as well, in their clearance aisle, they also had these. Now, this is Lipton noodle soup. You know the Lipton noodle soup that comes in the, in the envelopes, usually two envelopes per pack? That's what this is. We've had these before, and as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much the same product, just with a different container uh, that's packaging it. Right, and 49 cents a piece, I couldn't resist. So I got, I think I got eight of these. So this is great. And ladies and gentlemen, this is my opinion, okay? But do your own research and do what you will. But I think these have a very, very long expiration date. These are set to expire in about a week or so, I believe. Actually, 22, 
they're set to expire yesterday, right? Or not expire, but the best buy date, okay? Here it actually says expiration, I believe. But the best buy date for these were yesterday. I've had bouillon cubes stored away for years. I just used one the other day to make a sancocho, right? I've had bouillon cubes stored away for years, well past their best buy date, and they were still good. Pretty much the only thing in these is bouillon with noodles. So I believe that these have a very, very good uh, date as far as how far beyond the best buy date goes. So these are definitely going to come in handy. And this is one of those things that we eat these soups mostly in the wintertime. So nine months out of the year, we usually have these. So these will probably not even last us a year before we use them all. Now, while I was at the commissary, I hit pay dirt. <laughs> when I was checking out, I noticed a jar just like this sitting at the cashier's register. And I was like, what is that? And she said, well, this is raw honey and it's imported from Germany. And the first thing that I noticed was the jar because it's such a pretty jar. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. Where'd you get that? And she's like, well, my friend bought it for me, but we do have them for sale here. And I'm like, really, where are they? I didn't see them. And in the commissary, they have a section in the back where they keep bulk items and they keep other items as well. Obviously, this is one of them. So the bagger asked me, do you want me to go get you one if you want to buy one? And I'm like, absolutely. And then she said, well, we have two different kinds. We have the raw honey and then we have a spreadable, you know, like raw honey. And she said the spreadable one is the one that I like the most. And this is the one that she said is spreadable. As you can see, it's much more viscous and it holds together much more than your regular honey. So me thinking I love these jars and honey lasts forever, I went ahead and picked up one of each. Now, at first, when I heard the price, I was thinking, man, that's kind of expensive. But no, it's really not. Uh, what you're getting here is you're getting... Uh, 35.2 ounces of honey in each jar and each jar cost me $12 and that is very comparable to what I've paid for raw honey here uh, buying it from people that actually have their own beehives I remember about three years ago I bought a quart of raw honey from one of little Miss Alaska Pepper's uh, teachers because she had her own beehives and I paid her $30 for a quart so I thought that this is a really good price for these. And what I like about these is that as far as I know, it's not pasteurized. All right. In the back, it actually has a statement saying you should not feed this honey to any children under one year of age because it's not pasteurized. Well, it didn't say not pasteurized, but it said because it's raw honey. So I went ahead and made this purchase of one. And I actually think that it's a really good deal, $12 for each of those. So I went ahead and picked up one of each. I wanted to show you that I picked up a couple of more packs of seed pods for my arrow garden. Since my arrow garden is doing so well, I figure I'd go ahead and stock up on some of these. That way I'm sure to have them for the winter at least. And these are the heirloom cherry tomato seed pods. All right, so I went ahead and picked up two of these and I got these from Amazon. And this is just a small tool set for gardening. And to tell you the truth, it's not high end. It's actually, you know, pretty, you know, I wouldn't say that it's garbage, but it's not high end. This only cost me like $21 or something like that. And the other truth is that I probably won't use this till next year. But ladies and gentlemen, when I look at some of these things that I can use in the future, I ask myself one thing, or actually a couple of things. I Will I actually use this or is it just going to sit around and I'm not ever going to use it? And if the answer is yes, I'm going to use this. Okay, that's one check. The other question I ask myself is this. Next year at this time when I'm ready to use this product, is it going to be more expensive in nominal terms or is it going to be the same price or less expensive? There are some things that you may tell yourself, well, this is probably going to be less expensive next year so let me wait but in my opinion something like this uh, is probably going to be a little more pricey i've noticed prices on amazon creeping up and some prices have really gone up but i already noticed that this went up like three dollars from when i purchased it now am i saying that it's guaranteed that it's going to go up even more by this time next year i don't know but to spend 21 bucks on this i'll take the chance that the price is not going to go down and it's probably going to go up 
right and as you can see here it comes with one two three four five tools in a spray bottle and it's, it's a nice little pouch that you can put your stuff in you can put seeds in there you can put whatever it is that you need to put in there have it with you for your garden and even just keep it in a shed or something outside uh, hanging on a hook or something and when you're going to go to your garden you just grab this take it with you so i figure that this is a pretty nice little addition to make to all of the gardening tools that i showed you guys in uh, one of my previous payday preps another thing that i got which i'm actually using right now is this now this is not something that you have to have but it makes life a lot easier, especially here in Alaska during this time of the year where the mosquitoes are out. Uh, for example, let's say you are working out on your garden and there's so many mosquitoes out that it's really just making it a pain in the butt for you, for you to be able to do your work because you're always smacking your neck or whatever, right? This little widget, I'll call it a widget, is made by Thermosel, right? And that's a pretty popular name, you know, for getting rid of mosquitoes, Thermosel. Uh, all you do is, is put one of these little pads in here, these blue pads, as you can see. And you just turn it on, which is really easy to turn it on. To turn it on, the instructions are right here to turn it on. I mean, you just bring it, bring it twisted on and then click it three times and it turns right on every time. I'm not sure if you can see the, the uh, vapors coming off of it. But this right here is such a convenient thing to have that will keep you from being frustrated and keep you from being overwhelmed with mosquitoes. I turned this on about five minutes before I came out here and I put it on this table and I haven't seen one mosquito around. And what reminded me that I needed to get one of these this year is I was watching Frontier Prepper uh, with Billy and D and he had purchased a couple of the ones that go on top of the butane bottles, which I also ordered a while back. Uh, so I should be getting here soon. I'll show that off in my next payday prep. But I was like, you know what? I need to get one of these now. So I went and picked one up locally. And here it is in use. And it's definitely something that's nice to have. Think about if you are working in the garden, if you're working outside. The more frustrated you get at the mosquitoes, and I can tell you this from experience, the more frustrated you get, the more that it, that it hurts your work or your workmanship or the longer that it takes you to actually do the work that you're trying to do. Think of a time when you've been really frustrated at something and you're trying to complete a task. Think of that time and it normally takes you longer to do that. And it's just nice to have because it keeps the mosquitoes away. So in addition to that, I went ahead and ordered a few of these refill packs. Now these refill packs come with uh, 12 pads that you put up here, all right? And each pad lasts about four hours, all right? So it's not bad, it's pretty good. So I ordered three packs of that which should be plenty to get us through these. For any of you that have bad mosquito problems where you live, this is a great tool to have. Very nice. All right, let's see. Oh, I think this is the last thing that I ordered. So now I ordered a pack of five grow bags. And I want to show you what these guys look like. So I'm going to go ahead and clear off the table and I'll show you what they look like on the table. These are grow bags and they are 25 gallon size. I believe that they sell them in bigger sizes as well. I thought that the 25 gallon size would work well for me. And what I'm going to use these for are to go ahead and transplant some of the starters that I have inside. I'm going to leave a picture of my grow guard, of my arrow gardens and my starters that I have inside towards the end of the video. So you can take a look at them, see how nice they're doing. But I'm going to use two of these grow bags, maybe three for potatoes. And I'm going to use the other ones to put some of my peppers in there. And I only made a couple of peppers and some beets and some carrots. And I may end up getting more of these. However, before I continue with this, I wanted to go ahead and give a very well-deserved shout out to Dirt is Better Than Diamonds. Dirt is Better Than Diamonds is one of our community members. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you a quick story because I read her comment and it was awesome, all right? And I left a reply on there, and I actually said that I'm very proud of you for what you've done. Dirt is Better Than Diamonds went ahead and commissioned her skills. And I'm saying her because I think it's a she, okay? So if, if, it's a, if you're a he, excuse me, but I'll go ahead and say she. Dirt is Better Than Diamonds is an avid gardener. And I've always told you, ladies and gentlemen, and you can go back to several of my videos, and you can hear me say this on them. 
I've always said everyone has a skill that they can put to use in order to earn a little extra income. It doesn't have to be a lot in order to prep. And what Dirt is Better did is she commissioned herself to a family to show them and help them start a prepper garden. I think that is outstanding. I mean, right now I've got a huge smile on my face because I think that that is such an awesome thing to do. Not only is it a blessing to Dirt is Better, but it is a blessing to that family that she's helping. And in addition, she's earning a little bit of extra income that she can put towards her prep or towards her garden or whatever she may want. So ladies and gentlemen, if, if you're one of those people out there that maybe don't have the income or the extra money to go out there and buy preps, then go ahead and commission one of your unique skills. Everyone in this world has something that they can do that they can do very well and that they can share with others. So look into yourself and say, what can I do? Can I make that awesome banana bread that my grandma taught me how to make? Can I make that New York style cheesecake? Can I bake a few loaves of bread in the weekend and sell them to people around the community that want homemade bread? Can I make muffins? Whatever it is, can I make birdhouses? It can be anything, all right? So look within yourselves and find what it is that you can do. What value do you have to offer someone else? Look at the quilt that I got as a gift, you know, a while back. It's beautiful. And this person is not a full-time quilt maker. This person has a job, but she loves to quilt. And that is a talent that not everyone has. And as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty unique to that person because only that person can think up the patterns and how she's going to sew it and whatever it is that she has to do to put that thing together. All right. So look within yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to rant on about this. I already probably did. <laughs> but I just want to encourage you to not to quit. There's always something that you can do to better your position in life. Right. So going back to the grow gardens, like I said, there's a pack of five of those grow gardens in there. And I already told you what I'm going to use them for. I don't know if these are going to work great. I think they will. But we will see how they progress throughout the summer as soon as I plant my, my uh, starters in there. Now, uh, I'm thinking that probably this Monday, Memorial Day, I'm going to take the day to do a little barbecuing and probably go ahead and transplant all my starters in here and my potato seeds because uh, it looks like the weather is going to start cooperating with us as far as temperatures go. I looked out to the future for the next couple of weeks or so, and it looks like the lows are going to be above 50 degrees Fahrenheit which I think is going to be good enough for me to be able to leave them out here on my deck throughout the night and not have to worry about them getting frosted over. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got to show you guys today. I hope that you got something out of this. If anything, I hope that you were encouraged to at least start thinking about adding to your preps if you already have preps. And if not, start thinking about starting to prep. Ladies and gentlemen, I will keep sounding the horn as long as I'm doing this. You need to prepare. All right? If you're not preparing right now, you need to prepare. The times ahead are not going to be as good as they are now. If some of you are in a personal crisis right now because of this health issue that's going on, you already know that you need to prepare if you're not prepared. But the thing is, is that this has been a soft blow, I feel. And the hard blow is coming in the future. So prepare now while you still can. Prepare now while, you're, while your dollars still have the value that you need them to have in order to get stuff you need. You don't want to be stuck. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, okay? But this is my opinion. You don't want to be stuck holding a big wad of cash, all right, when things become unavailable. Because there will be a time where that big wad of cash will get you next to nothing. It's history, ladies and gentlemen. Study history, and you'll see what's coming. Having said that, I hope you guys have a great Saturday today. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to do a lot of busy work around the house. I have a lot of things to do today. Uh, but in addition to that, I want to let you all know that tomorrow on Sunday at 3 p.m. Alaska Standard Time, I will be doing a live stream right here off my deck. So if you want to join in, please go ahead and join in, and we will have a 
great time like I always do. It's one of the things that I look forward to uh, the most, especially during this time of the year because we can do it outside, all right? Let me go ahead and show you a little bit of the view before we leave, and look at this. It is a beautiful day, and look at that sun going through the trees. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, thank you very much for joining in. I truly do appreciate you guys. And one last thing, I'm gonna go ahead and list these bags on my Amazon storefront in case anyone wants to take a look at them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot say whether or not I recommend these yet, but I will place them on there. So if you want to take a look at them, it'll be easy for you guys to go on there and take a look at them. All right. And I truly hope that you guys took advantage of the Oxum Farms white wheat berries. Their 24 pound bucket was on sale for like $18 and change. I put a posting out on the community uh, page on Amazon, on uh, YouTube. And I also put a post on Facebook to let you guys know. I, I believe I also did put a post on my Patreon page as well. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that. I don't know if they have any left or not, but go check it out if they do. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do go to Amazon, uh, please go ahead and use my link. It really does help to support what I do, and I truly do appreciate it. All right. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to every one of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I am out. Mm -hmm.